The Kingdom of Hungary was a monarchy in Central Europe that existed from the Middle Ages into the 20th century 1000 to 1946 with the exception of 1918 to 1920. The Principality of Hungary emerged as a Christian kingdom upon the coronation of the first king Stephen I at Estergom in about the year 1000. His family, the Arpad dynasty, led the monarchy for 300 years. By the 12th century, the kingdom became a European middle power within the Western world, due to the Ottoman occupation of the central and southern territories of Hungary in the 16th century. The country was partitioned into three parts the Habsburg Royal Hungary, Ottoman Hungary, and the semi independent Principality of Transylvania. The House of Habsburg held the Hungarian throne after the Battle of Mohács until 1918 and also played a key role in the liberation wars against the Ottoman Empire. From 1867, territories connected to the Hungarian crown were incorporated into Austria-Hungary under the name of Lands of the Crown of St. Stephen. The monarchy ended with the deposition of the last King Charles IV in 1918, after which Hungary became a republic. The kingdom was nominally restored during the Regency of 1920-46, ending under the Soviet occupation in 1946, the Kingdom of Hungary was a multi-ethnic state from its inception until the Treaty of Trianon and it covered what is today Hungary, Poland, Slovakia, Transylvania and other parts of what is now Romania, Carpathian Ruthenia now part of Ukraine, Vojvodina now part of Serbia, Bergenland now part of Austria, and other smaller territories surrounding present-day Hungary's borders. From 1102 it also included Croatia, being in personal union with it, united under the King of Hungary. Today, the feast day of the first King Stephen I the 20th of August is a national holiday in Hungary, commemorating the foundation of the state Foundation Day. Topic. Names The Latin forms Regnum Hungariae or Ungary, Regnum meaning kingdom, Regnum Marianum, kingdom of Mary, or simply Hungaria, were the names used in official documents in Latin from the beginning of the kingdom to the 1840s. The German name Königreich Ungarn was used officially from 1784 to 1790 and again between 1849 and the 1860s. The Hungarian name Magyar Karalasag was used in the 1840s, and then again from the 1860s to 1946. The non-official Hungarian name of the kingdom was Magyar Erzig, which is still the colloquial, and also the official name of Hungary. The names in the other native languages of the kingdom were, Polish, Kralistwo Wagir, Romanian, Regatel Ungarie, Serbian, Kraljevina Ugarska, Croatian, Kraljevina Ugarska, Slovene, Kraljevina Ogarska, Slovak, Uhorske Kralovsvo, and Italian for the city of Fiume, Regno Dungiria. In Austria-Hungary the unofficial name Transylvania was sometimes used to denote the regions of the Kingdom of Hungary. Officially, the term Lands of the Crown of St. Stephen was included for the Hungarian part of Austria-Hungary, although this term was also in use prior to that time. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins The Hungarians led by Arpad settled the Carpathian Basin in 895, established Principality of Hungary 896-1000. The Hungarians led several successful incursions to Western Europe, until they were stopped by Otto I, Holy Roman Emperor in Battle of Lechfeld. <laughs> <laughs> Capital cities <laughs> <laughs> Middle Ages High Middle Ages The Principality was succeeded by the Christian Kingdom of Hungary with the coronation of Saint Stephen I son of Principal Geza. Originally called Vajk until baptized at Estergom on Christmas Day 1000. The first kings of the kingdom were from the Arpad dynasty. He fought against Kapani and in 998, with Bavarian help, defeated him near Vesprim. The Catholic Church received powerful support from Stephen I, who with Christian Hungarians and German knights wanted a Christian kingdom established in Central Europe. Stephen I of Hungary was canonized as a Catholic saint in 1083 and an Orthodox saint in 2000. After his death, a period of revolts and conflict for supremacy ensued between the royalty and the nobles. In 1051 armies of the Holy Roman Empire tried to conquer Hungary, but they were defeated at Verda's Mountain. 
The armies of the Holy Roman Empire continued to suffer defeats. The second greatest battle was at the town now called Bratislava, in 1052. Before 1052, Peter Orziolo, a supporter of the Holy Roman Empire, was overthrown by King Samuel Abba of Hungary. This period of revolts ended during the reign of Bela I. Hungarian chroniclers praised Bela I for introducing new currency, such as the silver denarius, and for his benevolence to the former followers of his nephew, Solomon. The second greatest Hungarian king, also from the Arpad dynasty, was Ladislaus I of Hungary, who stabilized and strengthened the kingdom. He was also canonized as a saint. Under his rule Hungarians successfully fought against the Cumans and acquired parts of Croatia in 1091. Due to a dynastic crisis in Croatia, with the help of the local nobility who supported his claim, he managed to swiftly seize power in northern parts of the Croatian kingdom Slavonia, as he was a claimant to the throne due to the fact that his sister was married to the late Croatian king Zvonimir who died childless. However, kingship over all of Croatia would not be achieved until the reign of his successor Koloman. With the coronation of King Koloman as King of Croatia and Dalmatia, in Biograd in 1102, the two kingdoms of Croatia and Hungary were united under one crown. Although the precise terms of this relationship became a matter of dispute in the 19th century, it is believed that Koloman created a kind of personal union between the two kingdoms. The nature of the relationship varied through time. Croatia retained a large degree of internal autonomy overall, while the real power rested in the hands of the local nobility. Modern Croatian and Hungarian historiographies mostly view the relations between Kingdom of Croatia 1102 to 1526 and Kingdom of Hungary from 1102 as a form of a personal union, i.e. that they were connected by a common king. Also, one of the greatest Hungarian jurists and statesmen of the 16th century, Istvan Werbocsi in his work Tripartitum treats Croatia as a kingdom separate to Hungary. In 1222 Andrew II of Hungary issued the Golden Bull which laid down the principles of law. Topic. Mongol invasion In 1241, Hungary was invaded by the Mongols and while the first minor battles with Subutai's vanguard probes ended in seeming Hungarian victories, the Mongols finally destroyed the combined Hungarian and Cuman armies at the Battle of Muhi. In 1242, after the end of the Mongol invasion, numerous fortresses to defend against future invasion were erected by Bela IV of Hungary. In gratitude, the Hungarians acclaimed him as the second founder of the homeland, and the Hungarian kingdom again became a considerable force in Europe. In 1260 Bela IV lost the War of Babenberg succession, his army was defeated at the Battle of Kressenbrunn by the United Bohemian forces. However, in 1278 Ladislaus IV of Hungary and Austrian troops fully destroyed the Bohemian army at the battle on the Marchfeld. Topic. Late Middle Ages The Arpad dynasty died out in 1301 with the death of Andrew III. Subsequently, Hungary was ruled by the Angevins until the end of the 14th century, and then by several non-dynastic rulers, notably Sigismund, Holy Roman Emperor and Matthias Corvinus, until the early 16th century. The Anjou Age When Andrew III's predecessor, Ladislaus IV, was assassinated in 1290, another nobleman was set up as titular king of Hungary, Charles Martel of Anjou. Charles Martel was the son of King Charles II of Naples and Mary of Hungary, the sister of Ladislaus IV. However, Andrew III took the crown for himself, and ruled without inconvenience after Charles Martel's death in 1295. Upon Andrew's death in 1301, the throne was claimed by Charles Martel's son, Charles Robert. After a period of instability, he was finally crowned King Charles I in 1310. He implemented considerable economic reforms, and defeated the remaining nobility who were in opposition to royal rule, led by Matej Chok III. The Kingdom of Hungary reached an age of prosperity and stability under Charles I. The gold mines of the kingdom were extensively worked and soon Hungary reached a prominent standing in European gold production. The forint was introduced as a currency, replacing the dinars, and soon after Charles's reforms were implemented, the economy of the kingdom started to prosper again, having fallen into a parlous state following the Mongol invasion. Charles exalted the cult to St. Ladislaus I, using him as a symbol of bravery, justice and purity. 
He also venerated his uncle, St. Louis of Toulouse. On the other hand, he gave importance to the cults of the princesses St. Elizabeth and St. Margaret, which added relevance to the lineage inheritance through the feminine branches. Charles restored the royal power which had fallen into feudal lords' hands, and then made the lords swear loyalty to him. For this, he founded in 1326 the Order of St. George, which was the first secular chivalric order in the world, and included the most important noblemen of the kingdom. Charles married four times. His fourth wife was Elizabeth, the daughter of Wladyslaw I of Poland. When Charles died in 1342, his eldest son by Elizabeth succeeded him as Louis I. In the first years of his reign, Louis was advised closely by his mother, making her one of the most influential personalities in the kingdom. Charles had arranged the marriage of his second son, Andrew, with his cousin Joanna, the granddaughter of King Robert of Naples, in 1332. Robert died in 1343, bequeathing his kingdom to Joanna but excluding the claim of Andrew. In 1345, a group of noble Neapolitan conspirators murdered Andrew at Aversa. Almost immediately, Louis declared war on Naples, conducting a first campaign in 1347-1348 and a second in 1350. He eventually signed a peace with Joanna in 1352. Louis also waged wars against the Serbian Empire and the Golden Horde, restoring the Hungarian monarch's authority over territories along the frontiers which had been lost during the previous decades. In 1370 Louis's uncle, Casimir III of Poland, died without male issue. Louis succeeded him, thus establishing the first union of Hungary and Poland. This lasted until 1382, when Louis himself died without male issue. His two daughters, Mary and Jadwiga, then ascended the thrones of Hungary and Poland respectively. Topic: The Age of Sigismund. Louis I of Hungary always kept good and close relationships with the Holy Roman Emperor Charles IV of Luxembourg and finally proclaimed Charles's son Sigismund of Luxembourg to succeed him as King of Hungary. Sigismund became a renowned king who created many improvements in the Hungarian law system and who rebuilt the palaces of Buda and Visegrad. He brought materials from Austria and Bohemia and ordered the creation of the most luxurious building in all Central Europe. In his laws can be seen the traces of the early mercantilism. He worked hard to keep the nobility under his control. A great part of his reign was dedicated to the fight with the Ottoman Empire, which started to extend its frontiers and influence to Europe. In 1396 was fought the Battle of Nicopolis against the Ottomans, which resulted in a defeat for the Hungarian French forces led by Sigismund and Philip of Artois, Count of EU. However, Sigismund continued to successfully contain the Ottoman forces outside of the kingdom for the rest of his life. Losing popularity among the Hungarian nobility, Sigismund soon became victim of an attempt against his rule, and Ladislaus of Anjou Durazzo the son of the murdered king of Naples Charles II of Hungary was called in and crowned. Since the ceremony was not performed with the Hungarian holy crown, and in the city of Shiksfehervor, it was considered illegitimate. Ladislaus stayed only few days in Hungarian territory and soon left it, no longer an inconvenience for Sigismund. In 1408 he founded the Order of the Dragon, which included the most of the relevant monarchs and noblemen of that region of Europe in that time. This was just a first step for what was coming. In 1410 he was elected King of the Romans, making him the supreme monarch over the German territories. He had to deal with the Hussite movement, a religious reformist group that was born in Bohemia, and he presided at the Council of Constance, where the theologist founder Jan Hus, was judged. In 1419 Sigismund inherited the crown of Bohemia after the death of his brother Wenceslaus of Luxembourg, obtaining the formal control of three medieval states, but he struggled for control of Bohemia until the peace agreement with the Hussites and his coronation in 1436. In 1433 was crowned as Holy Roman Emperor by the Pope and ruled until his death in 1437, leaving as his only heir his daughter Elizabeth of Luxembourg and her husband. The marriage of Elizabeth was arranged with the Duke Albert V of Austria, who was later crowned as King Albert of Hungary in 1437. Topic: <inaudible> Hunyadi family. The Hungarian kingdom's golden age was during the reign of Matthias Corvinus, 1458 to 1490, the son of John Hunyadi. His nickname was Matthias the Just. He further improved the Hungarian economy and practiced astute diplomacy in place of military action whenever possible. 
Matthias did undertake campaigning when necessary. From 1485 until his death, he occupied Vienna, aiming to limit the influence and meddling of the Holy Roman Empire in Hungary's affairs. Matthias died without legitimate heir, and was thus succeeded by Vladislaus II Jogelin, 1490–1516, the son of Casimir IV of Poland. In turn, Vladislaus was succeeded by his son Louis II 1516 at the time of the initial Ottoman encroachment, the Hungarians successfully resisted conquest. John Hunyadi was leader of the Crusade of Varna, in which the Hungarians tried to expel the Turks from the Balkans. Initially, they were successful, but later at the Battle of Varna, the Ottomans won a decisive if Pyrrhic victory. Vladislaw III was decapitated during this battle. In 1456, John Hunyadi delivered a crushing defeat of the Ottomans at the Siege of Belgrade. The noon bell commemorates the fallen Christian warriors. In the 15th century, the Black Army of Hungary was a modern mercenary army, with the Hussars the most skilled troops of the Hungarian cavalry. In 1479, under the leadership of Paul Kinishi, the Hungarian army destroyed the Ottoman and Wallachian troops at the Battle of Breadfield. The army of Hungary destroyed its enemies almost every time when Matthias was king. In 1526, at the Battle of Mohacs, the forces of the Ottoman Empire led by Suleiman I, annihilated the Hungarian army. In trying to escape, Louis II drowned in the Sea Cell Creek. The leader of the Hungarian army, Paul Tamori, also died in the battle. <laughs> Early modern history <laughs> The divided kingdom Due to a serious defeat by the Ottomans Battle of Mohax, the central authority collapsed. The majority of Hungary's ruling elite elected John Zapalia the 10th of November 1526. A small minority of aristocrats sided with Ferdinand I, Holy Roman Emperor, who was Archduke of Austria, and was related to Louis by marriage. Due to previous agreements that the Habsburgs would take the Hungarian throne if Louis died without heirs, Ferdinand was elected king by a rump diet in December 1526. Although the borders shifted frequently during this period, the three parts can be identified, more or less, as follows Royal Hungary, which consisted of northern and western territories where Ferdinand I was recognized as King of Hungary. This part is viewed as defining the continuity of the Kingdom of Hungary. The territory along with Ottoman Hungary suffered greatly from the nearly constant wars taking place. Ottoman Hungary The Great Alfold i.e. most of present-day Hungary, including southeastern Transdanubia and the Banat, partly without northeastern present-day Hungary. Eastern Hungarian Kingdom under the Shapolyai. Note that this territory, often under Ottoman influence, was different from Transylvania proper and included various other territories sometimes referred to as Partium. Later the entity was called Principality of Transylvania. On 29 February 1528, King John I of Hungary received the support of the Ottoman Sultan. A three-sided conflict ensued as Ferdinand moved to assert his rule over as much of the Hungarian kingdom as he could. By 1529 the kingdom had been split into two parts, Habsburg-Hungary and the Eastern Kingdom of Hungary. At this time there were no Ottomans on Hungarian territories, except Srem's important castles. In 1532, Nikola Jurisic defended Kashig and stopped a powerful Ottoman army. By 1541, the fall of Buda marked a further division of Hungary into three areas. The country remained divided until the end of the 17th century. In the following centuries there were numerous attempts to push back the Ottoman forces, such as the Long War or Thirteen Years' War the 29th of July 1593 1604-11 November 1606 led by a coalition of Christian forces. In 1644 the winter campaign by Miklos Zerinyi burnt the crucial Suleiman Bridge of Osijek in eastern Slavonia, interrupting a Turkish supply line in Hungary. At the Battle of St. Gothard 1664, Austrians and Hungarians defeated the Turkish army. After the Ottoman siege of Austria failed in 1683, the Habsburgs went on the offensive against the Turks. By the end of the 17th century, they managed to invade the remainder of the historical Kingdom of Hungary and the Principality of Transylvania. For a while in 1686, the capital Buda was again free from the Ottoman Empire, with the aid of other Europeans. The Curic Age 
Ricochi's War for Independence was the first significant freedom fight in Hungary against absolutist Habsburg rule. It was fought by a group of noblemen, wealthy and high-ranking progressives who wanted to put an end to the inequality of power relations, led by Francis II Ricochi II. Ricochi Ferenc in Hungarian. Its main aims were to protect the rights of the different social orders, and to ensure the economic and social development of the country. Due to the adverse balance of forces, the political situation in Europe and internal conflicts the freedom fight was eventually suppressed, but it succeeded in keeping Hungary from becoming an integral part of the Habsburg Empire, and its constitution was kept, even though it was only a formality. After the departure of the Ottomans, the Habsburgs dominated the Hungarian kingdom. The Hungarians' renewed desire for freedom led to Rakochi's war for independence. The most important reasons of the war were the new and higher taxes and a renewed Protestant movement. Rikochi was a Hungarian nobleman, son of the legendary heroine Ilona Zarinyi. He spent a part of his youth in Austrian captivity. The Kuriks were troops of Rikochi. Initially, the Kurik army attained several important victories due to their superior light cavalry. Their weapons were mostly pistols, light saber and focos. At the Battle of St. Gothard 1705, Janos Batian decisively defeated the Austrian army. The Hungarian colonel Adam Balog nearly captured Joseph I, the King of Hungary and Emperor of Austria. In 1708, the Habsburgs finally defeated the main Hungarian army at Battle of Trenkson, and this diminished the further effectiveness of the Kurik army. While the Hungarians were exhausted by the fights, the Austrians defeated the French army in the War of the Spanish Succession. They could send more troops to Hungary against the rebels. Transylvania became part of Hungary again starting at the end of the 17th century, and was led by governors. <laughs> Age of Enlightenment In 1711, Austrian Emperor Charles VI became the next ruler of Hungary. Throughout the 18th century, the Kingdom of Hungary had its own diet parliament and constitution, but the members of the Governor's Council the Office of the Palatine were appointed by the Habsburg monarch, and the superior economic institution, the Hungarian Chamber, was directly subordinated to the court chamber in Vienna. The Hungarian language reform started under the reign of Joseph II. The Reform Age of Hungary was started by István Széchenyi a Hungarian noble, who built one of the greatest bridges of Hungary, the Széchenyi Chain Bridge. The official language remained Latin until 1836, when Hungarian was introduced. Between 1844 and 1849, and from 1867 onward, Hungarian became the exclusively used official language. <laughs> Hungarian Revolution of 1848 The European revolutions of 1848 swept into Hungary, as well. The Hungarian Revolution of 1848 sought to redress the long-suppressed desire for political change, namely independence. The Hungarian National Guard was created by young Hungarian patriots in 1848. In literature, this was best expressed by the greatest poet of the revolution, Sándor Petofi. As war broke out with Austria, Hungarian military successes, which included the campaigns of the Hungarian general, Artur Gorgi, forced the Austrians on the defensive. One of the most famous battles of the revolution, the Battle of Pakozd, was fought on 29 September 1848, when the Hungarian Revolutionary Army led by Lieutenant General Janos Moga defeated the troops of the Croatian ban Josip Jelisic. Fearing defeat, the Austrians pleaded for Russian help. The combined forces of the two empires quelled the revolution. The desired political changes of 1848 were again suppressed until the Austro-Hungarian Compromise of 1867. Topic: <inaudible> Austria-Hungary 1867 to 1918. Following the Austro-Hungarian Compromise of 1867, the Habsburg Empire became the dual monarchy of Austria-Hungary. The Austro-Hungarian economy changed dramatically during the existence of the dual monarchy. Technological change accelerated industrialization and urbanization. The capitalist way of production spread throughout the empire during its 50-year existence and obsolete medieval institutions continued to disappear. By the early 20th century, most of the empire began to experience rapid economic growth. 
The GNP per capita grew roughly 1.45% per year from 1870 to 1913. That level of growth compared very favorably to that of other European nations such as Britain 1.00%, France 1.06%, and Germany 1.51%. The lands of the Hungarian crown comprising the Kingdom of Hungary proper, into which Transylvania was fully incorporated, and the Kingdom of Croatia-Slavonia, which maintained a distinct identity and a certain internal autonomy were granted equal status with the rest of the Habsburg monarchy. Each of the two states comprising Austria-Hungary exercised considerable independence, with certain institutions, notably the reigning house, defense, foreign affairs, and finances for common expenditures, remaining under joint management. This arrangement lasted until 1918, when the Central Powers went down in defeat in World War I. Transitions Two short-lived republics The Hungarian Soviet Republic or Hungarian Republic of Councils Hungarian, Magyarzegi Tanichkoztarsasig or Magyarzegi Socialista Shavetsizs Tanichkoztarsasig was a short-lived independent communist state established in Hungary. It lasted only from 21 March until 1 August 1919. The state was led by Bela Kuhn and was not recognized by France, the UK or the US. It was the second socialist state in the world to be formed after the October Revolution in Russia brought the Bolsheviks to power. The Hungarian Republic of Councils had military conflicts with the Kingdom of Romania see Hungarian-Romanian War, the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes and the evolving Czechoslovakia. It collapsed on 1 August 1919 when Hungarians sent representatives to negotiate their surrender to the Romanian forces and Bela Kuhn, together with other high-ranking communists, fled to Austria. A 1919 attempt to form a federation with the Kingdom of Romania also failed, when the Romanian king ultimately refused to accept the Hungarian crown. The restoration of the kingdom After the pullout of occupation forces of Romania in 1920 the country went into civil conflict, with Hungarian anti-communists and monarchists purging the nation of communists, leftists and others by whom they felt threatened. On February 29, 1920, after the pullout of the last of the Romanian occupation forces, the Kingdom of Hungary was restored, a coalition of right-wing political forces united and reinstated Hungary's status as a constitutional monarchy. Selection of the new king was delayed due to civil infighting, and a regent was appointed to represent the monarchy, former Austro-Hungarian Navy Admiral Miklos Horthy. Topic: <laughs> Treaty of Trianon 1920. The new borders set in 1920 by the Treaty of Trianon ceded 72% of the territory of the Kingdom of Hungary to the neighboring states. The main beneficiaries were Romania, the newly formed states of Czechoslovakia, and the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, but Austria, Poland and Italy also gained smaller territories. The areas that were allocated to neighboring countries in total and each of them separately possessed a majority of non-Hungarian population, but more than 3.3 million ethnic Hungarians were left outside the new borders of Hungary. Many view this as contrary to the terms laid out by U.S. President Woodrow Wilson's 14 points, which were intended to honor the ethnic makeup of the territories. As President Wilson left the conference to emphasize his disagreement, and because the U.S. Congress did not ratify the treaty, the United States of America and the Kingdom of Hungary signed a separate peace treaty on 29 August 1921. Between 1920 and 1946. Topic: Interwar period. The new international borders separated Hungary's industrial base from its sources of raw materials and its former markets for agricultural and industrial products. Hungary lost 84% of its timber resources, 43% of its arable land, and 83% of its iron ore. Furthermore, post-Trianon Hungary possessed 90% of the engineering and printing industry of the kingdom, while only 11% of timber and 16% iron was retained. 
In addition, 61% of arable land, 74% of public road, 65% of canals, 62% of railroads, 64% of hard surface roads, 83% of pig iron output, 55% of industrial plants, 100% of gold, silver, copper, mercury and salt mines, and 67% of credit and banking institutions of the pre-war Kingdom of Hungary lay within the territory of Hungary's neighbors, because most of the country's pre-war industry was concentrated near Budapest, Hungary retained about 51% of its industrial population and 56% of its industry. Horthy appointed Count Paul Teleki as Prime Minister in July 1920. His government issued a numerous closest law, limiting admission of political insecure elements. These were often Jews to universities and, in order to quiet rural discontent, took initial steps towards fulfilling a promise of major land reform by dividing about 3,850 square kilometers from the largest estates into smallholdings. Teleki's government resigned, however, after Charles IV unsuccessfully attempted to retake Hungary's throne in March 1921. The return of King Charles produced split parties between conservatives who favored a Habsburg restoration and nationalist right-wing radicals who supported election of a Hungarian king. Count Istvan Bethlen, a non-affiliated right-wing member of the parliament, took advantage of this rift forming a new party of unity under his leadership. Horthy then appointed Bethlen prime minister. Charles IV died soon after he failed a second time to reclaim the throne in October 1921. For more detail on Charles's attempts to retake the throne, see Charles IV of Hungary's conflict with Miklos Horthy. As Prime Minister, Bethlen dominated Hungarian politics between 1921 and 1931. He fashioned a political machine by amending the electoral law, providing jobs in the expanding bureaucracy to his supporters, and manipulating elections in rural areas. Bethlen restored order to the country by giving the radical counter-revolutionaries payoffs and government jobs in exchange for ceasing their campaign of terror against Jews and leftists. In 1921, he made a deal with the Social Democrats and Trade Unions called Bethlen Pyre Pact, agreeing, among other things, to legalize their activities and free political prisoners in return for their pledge to refrain from spreading anti-Hungarian propaganda, calling political strikes, and organizing the peasantry. Bethlen brought Hungary into the League of Nations in 1922 and out of international isolation by signing a Treaty of Friendship with Italy in 1927. The revision of the Treaty of Trianon rose to the top of Hungary's political agenda and the strategy employed by Bethlen consisted by strengthening the economy and building relations with stronger nations. Revision of the treaty had such a broad backing in Hungary that Bethlen used it, at least in part, to deflect criticism of his economic, social, and political policies. The Great Depression induced a drop in the standard of living and the political mood of the country shifted further toward the right. In 1932 Horthy appointed a new prime minister, Gyula Gombos, who changed the course of Hungarian policy towards closer cooperation with Germany. Gombos signed a trade agreement with Germany that drew Hungary's economy out of depression but made Hungary dependent on the German economy for both raw materials and markets. On 2 November 1938, as the result of the First Vienna Award parts of Czechoslovakia, Southern Slovakia and a part of Carpathian Ruthenia, were returned to Hungary, an area amounting to 11,927 square kilometres and a population of 869,299 86.5% of which were Hungarians according to the 1941 census. Between 5 November and 10 November, Hungarian armed forces peacefully occupied the newly transferred territories. Hitler later promised to transfer all of Slovakia to Hungary in exchange for a military alliance, but his offer was rejected. Instead, Horthy chose to pursue a territorial revision to be decided along ethnic lines. In March 1939, the Czechoslovak Republic was dissolved, Germany invaded it, and the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia was established. On 14 March, Slovakia declared itself to be an independent state. On 15 March, Carpatho-Ukraine declared itself to be an independent state. Hungary rejected the independence of Carpatho-Ukraine and, between 14 March and 18 March, Hungarian armed forces occupied the rest of Carpathian Ruthenia and ousted the government of Avgustin Voloshin. By contrast, Hungary recognized the Nazi puppet state of Slovakia led by the clerical fascist Josef Tiso. 
In September 1940, with troops massing on both sides of the Hungarian-Romanian border, war was averted by the Second Vienna Award. This award transferred the northern half of Transylvania to Hungary, with a total area of 43,492 square kilometers and a total population of 2,578,100 with a 53.5% Hungarian majority according to the 1941 census. By dividing Transylvania between Romania and Hungary, Hitler was able to ease tensions in Hungary. In October 1940, the Germans initiated a reciprocity policy between Romania and Hungary which was continued until the end of World War II. The region of Subcarpathia was given special autonomous status with the intention that eventually it would be self-governed by the Ruthenian minority. <laughs> During World War II 1941–1945 After being granted part of southern Czechoslovakia and Subcarpathia by the Germans and Italians in the First Vienna Award of 1938, and then Northern Transylvania in the Second Vienna Award of 1940, Hungary participated in their first military maneuvers on the side of the Axis powers in 1941. Thus, the Hungarian army was part of the invasion of Yugoslavia, gaining some more territory and joining the Axis powers in the process. On the 22nd of June 1941, Germany invaded the Soviet Union in Operation Barbarossa. Hungary joined the German effort and declared war on the Soviet Union on 26 June, and entered World War II on the side of the Axis. In late 1941, the Hungarian troops on the Eastern Front experienced success at the Battle of Uman. By 1943, after the Hungarian Second Army suffered extremely heavy losses at the River Don, the Hungarian government sought to negotiate a surrender with the Allies. On 19 March 1944, as a result of this duplicity, German troops occupied Hungary in what was known as Operation Margareta. By then it was clear that Hungarian politics would be suppressed according to Hitler's intention to hold the country in the war on the side of the Nazi Third Reich because of its strategic location. On 15 October 1944, Horthy made a token effort to disengage Hungary from the war. The Germans launched Operation Panzerfaust and Horthy's regime was replaced by a fascist puppet government under the pro-German Arrow Cross leader Ferenc Szalasi, thus effectively ending the possibility for independent actions in the war. However, the form of government was only changed to a republic two years later. Topic. Transitioning into a republic. Following its occupation of Hungary in 1944, the Soviet Union imposed harsh conditions allowing it to seize important material assets and control internal affairs. After the Red Army set up police organs to persecute class enemies, the Soviets assumed that the impoverished Hungarian populace would support the communists in the coming elections. The communists fared poorly, receiving only 17% of the vote, resulting in a coalition government under Prime Minister Zoltán Tildy. Soviet intervention, however, resulted in a government that disregarded Tildy, placed communists in important ministries, and imposed restrictive and repressive measures, including banning the victorious independent smallholders, agrarian workers and civic party. In 1945, Soviet Marshal Kliment Voroshilov forced the freely elected Hungarian government to yield the interior ministry to a nominee of the Hungarian Communist Party. Communist Interior Minister Laszlo Reich established the AV secret police, which suppressed political opposition through intimidation, false accusations, imprisonment and torture. In 1946 the form of government was changed to a republic. Soon after the monarchy was abolished, the Soviet Union pressed Hungarian leader Matyas Rakosi to take a line of more pronounced class struggle. What emerged was a communist state lasting until October 1989 when the communists agreed to give up their monopoly on power, paving the way for free elections in March 1990. In today's free republic, the kingdom is regarded as one long stage in the development of the state. This sense of continuity is reflected in the republic's national symbols such as the Holy Crown of Hungary and the Coat of Arms of Hungary, which are the same as when the monarchy was still in place. Several holidays, the official language Hungarian, and the capital city Budapest have also been retained. The official Hungarian name of the country is Magyar Erzig simply Hungary since 2012, it was also the common name of the monarchy. The millennium of the Hungarian statehood was commemorated in 2000 and codified by the Millennium Act of 2000. 
Topic. See also. Lands of the Crown of Saint Stephen. List of Hungarian rulers. Nobility in the Kingdom of Hungary. Administrative divisions of the Kingdom of Hungary Demographics of the Kingdom of Hungary Comitatus Kingdom of Hungary Holy Crown of Hungary Coat of Arms of Hungary Topic. References Topic. Further reading Engel, Paul the Realm of St. Stephen, A History of Medieval Hungary, 895-1526, 2001. Frucht, Richard. Encyclopedia of Eastern Europe, From the Congress of Vienna to the Fall of Communism, 2000, online edition. Honch, Georg K., and Kim Trainer. A History of Modern Hungary, 1867-1994, 1996, online edition. Honick, Peter et al. A History of Hungary 1994. Kuntler, Laszlo. A History of Hungary 2006 excerpt and text search Molnar, Miklos, and Anna Magyar. A Concise History of Hungary 2001 excerpt and text search Palfi, Geza. The Kingdom of Hungary and the Habsburg Monarchy in the 16th Century East European Monographs, distributed by Columbia University Press, 2010 406 pages, covers the period after the Battle of Mohacs in 1526 when the Kingdom of Hungary was partitioned in three, with one segment going to the Habsburgs. Topic. External links Hungary in the 1911 Encyclopædia Britannica